Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this week's Angel Messages, the reading for the week ahead, Monday, the 7th of October, all the way through till next Monday, the 14th. I'm Rachel Skoltok, Angel Medium, and I've already pulled some cards for you, and I can't wait to share the message that the angels and the archangels have for you this week. Now, this is a huge week, angel wise. Um, I have a free masterclass. Come and join me for a live Zoom. I'm doing it twice, so you can join me from anywhere in the world. And it's called Ask Your Angels. You're going to learn to read the angel oracle cards with me. And I'm going to give you practical, professional, expert tips that will really upgrade your readings to get those clear, intuitive angel messages, not just the ones that are written on the deck, right? So I've been reading for people for the last 22 years. I've been teaching angel communication practitioners, certifying people to go and do this professionally. And this is a class from my professional training. So you'll want to join me live, grab your angel oracle cards, use the link in the comments or the caption and sign up free. There's still a little few spaces left. We've had hundreds of people sign up and I'm so excited. So that will be Tuesday or Wednesday this week that you can join me live. I'm also launching Angel Communication Practitioner this week, my flagship program, which is certification training to become a practitioner, to do what I do, to become an angel communicator, to learn their healing, to read the angel oracle cards, to bring through their messages for yourself. And if you're someone who wants to start your spiritual business, this is perfect training for you to get you started and so you can you're learning to read for others too so you can take it as a personal training growth spiritual connection deepen your connection with the angels or you can take it as professional training and launch or expand your existing uh, spiritual business i have so many lovely people at my courses i have to tell you it's a it's a beautiful experience so the link for that is also in the comments. So let's get started with the angel messages for this week. So last week we had a powerful week with the solar eclipse. Oh my goodness, that, start, that really got some waves rolling, didn't it? And you might have been feeling extra emotional. You might have been seeing those things that are coming up for healing, sticking their heads up a little bit further just so that you can clear them. So you might have had this weekend a sense of, needing rest, needing to go inside within to um, contemplate, meditate and make decisions. And that just means you're on track. Also look out for those extra synchronicities and signs at times like this, because the high vibrational energy that the angels are pouring in for us all, for you, is extra right now. And so that's allowing you to lift above some of that heavy, dark energy if you'll only tap into it and the angels want to help you. So, but you have to ask, you know, they'll never force anything on you. You have to ask for their help. I'll talk to you a lot more about the angels tomorrow in the live class. All right, let's get started with the first card. I already selected them. And the first card we got, you may have seen this a couple of well, maybe a month or so ago, this card came up and it's beautiful. It's the Ten of Earth. This is telling us what the energy is like this week. Now, what really draws my attention, we've got this old man and his beautiful, loyal dog, look at the doggy, um, sitting in this archway and there's abundance above. And he's he's like the guardian or he's the security guard or he's the welcoming party. They are welcoming you through this archway. It's like you're shifting to a new beginning, right? And I love how misty it is in the background. It reminds me of the mists of Avalon. You know, if you've ever read that book or um, read about Glastonbury and Avalon. So it's a mystical place where there's a thin veil. So that's really showing us at the moment that we're in this, uh, this archway. We're in this portal. We're moving through it. And we're not all going through at the same time. Some of us are trickling in, you know, and there's no judgment in that. So... He's holding the book of wisdom. It has an angel feather on it. And we've got love, companionship, connection. What are you, what are you taking through this archway? And what are you leaving behind? That's really important right now. So it's it's almost as if all of your prayers, your your insight to intuition, it's all coming into alignment. And the angels are saying, come this way. And these are the things that you have to leave behind. So you're making a shift. If you can imagine that you're standing on a path right now, imagine, visualize it. See your feet standing on this beautiful pathway. And there's a line in front of you. And the line says, step over this into your new reality. And 
in that moment, you get to choose because you're always choosing, right? Decision making is manifesting. So what are you choosing for the next steps, for the next chapter? And what are you listening to your angels and your intuition telling you what not to bring with you? Okay, I really love this. We've also got the ball there and, you know, golden retrievers, they always represent play and unconditional love, don't they? And there's the ball. So it's reminding you to be playful. All right. So I love that we've got the fall leaves there too. I mean, we're going into spring in Australia. If I look a bit tired, we lost an hour. I think we lost an hour. So I did. <laughs> and in, in the US and the UK and Europe and Northern Hemisphere, you will be going into fall right now. All right. So we say, angels, what's blocking us this week from this beautiful abundance that's waiting for us? And here comes Archangel Michael with this card. I love this card so much because it says so much in it. So if, if you take a look at the card, this is showing you what's blocking you. We've got a figure sitting up in bed and he's despairing. He has, he just is so absorbed in his sadness, in his despair, in his worries. And whenever I see this card, I think dark night of the soul. You know, when we sit up <laughs> late at night or we're laying in bed and we're going over all our worries and we're going over all of our worst case scenarios and the mind just makes up all of these stories, the ego to scare us, you know, and you start thinking about your people you love, yourself, are you where you want to be in life? And usually when the sun comes up, you, you're you exhausted, but you think, oh gosh, I really put myself through it, didn't I? Because it's not real. You know, it's just worry, it's fear. Fear is an illusion. And so here, the angel is saying, it's this is the block. This is what you need to leave behind you when you walk through this, this archway, when you step over the, the line, is fear, negativity, drama, worst case scenarios. And, you know, I think humans are dramatic. We are. We're dramatic. We can be. We, we think of the worst things. We worry all the time. We make up stories in our head about ourselves, about other people. A lot of that isn't true because we're learning in this duality of fear and love that fear is an illusion. It's an illusion. And we can get sucked into fear because there's some people who use fear to manipulate us. They tell us terrible stories about what might happen or what could happen, and, you know, conspiracy theories. And that can you know, it hooks into the deepest kind of primal part of us, that reptilian mind. I'm not talking about um, spiritual stuff. I'm talking about the, the physics, right, of our reaction. And that then can lead us on a merry dance. And we're always in this pattern of choosing between fear and love, peace and drama. What are you going to choose? Now, if you look closely, this beautiful soul who's sitting up in bed worrying, representing you, maybe you've been thinking too much, overthinking, working too hard, worrying, thinking worst case scenarios, putting yourself down. Really, it is an illusion because this person is sitting in a luxurious bed. And if you look closely at the, at the pictures above his head, there's an angel there. There's an angel with their wings outspread. So even though you might be feeling that everything around you is darkness, it is not. It is light. There is light there. Reach out to your angels. We've got the swords, which can be a symbol of pain and heartache, but also they can be a symbol of protection. And we can see how the swords of Archangel Michael are creating a barrier at the end of the bed. It's a reminder to put Archangel Michael's protection, to ask him to put his protection around you, your sleep at night, your mind, your your career, your finances, your loved ones. Ask Archangel Michael to place the protection and that barrier will not only keep you safe, it will stop the fear vibrations from seeping in and interfering with your divine connection, your intuition, your positivity, your true self, the messages that come from your soul. You know, and also remember to be grateful. When whatever we focus on, explodes right whatever we we focus on becomes the bigger thing when we focus on what we think is wrong that becomes big and scary and we focus on the blessings we have on in, we, in our life even if they're only tiny blessings in our mind those things are the things that become bigger so if this figure would only just take his hands off his face and look around him he's got electricity he's got a big comfy bed he's got luxury he's got an angel with him he's got protection he could stop despairing 
and put hope back in his heart. And so that's what the message is for you this week is be really honest with yourself. What is creating negativity for you? Now, sometimes we let outside energies come in with negativity. Now, that's not always your fault, but we have a responsibility with working with our angels to protect ourselves against negativity. So we can put boundaries around that stuff. We can say no. We can say no when people come walking in with their negative baggage to drop at our doorstep. No, thank you. I've got I've got a mission this lifetime. I'm here for love and light. I'm not going to be sucked down the drain with you. I wish you well. I send you love and light. But I need to put boundaries around my health, my well-being, my positivity, my future, and my present moment. So a bit of a message there for you. So make a quick list. Like what is bringing negativity or who is bringing negativity into your life? And how can you start to strengthen up your energy boundaries, strengthen up your boundary muscles to start to say no? There's lots of ways you can do that without actually even saying no sometimes, right? Don't have to pick up that phone. <laughs> All right. Now, the third card jumped out with another card. So I'm going to give you both of them. So first up, I'm going to go with this one first. Look how gorgeous. Look how absolutely gorgeous. Don't forget to comment if you're here because it really is lovely to hear from you. Um, so the two of Earth. So we've gone from the ten of Earth to the two of Earth. And here the figure is you again, wandering along this precarious fence. Hi, Sam. <laughs> and I'm just saying hello to people on Facebook. And there's calm waters. There's butterflies. I don't know if you can see that in the image all around. All around. So butterflies mean transformation. Now, it's really hard. I don't know about you, but when I get exhausted, when I'm tired, that's when I, the more negativity can creep in. Have you found that? So here the angels are giving us a key. They're always giving us solutions. They're always giving us practical and spiritual solutions. Balance. When we bring balance into our life, the rest and the work, the giving and the receiving, energy in, energy out. You can't only breathe out in the same ways. You can't just give. It might be part of your beautiful soul to be a giver. But if you only give, you're going to burn out and faster than a firework. And you're going to end up exhausted and resentful and then you're not you haven't got good energy to share with people so it makes sense right remember put the oxygen mask on yourself first you've got to have balance in your life hey the beautiful norway so here the angels are saying that your transformation will begin to happen more easily and effortlessly when you bring some ba balance into your life you and you alone know you do hear your guidance, don't you? You have got your, the inner guidance that you're receiving is real. It's coming from your angels. They're using your intuition as a sort of a microphone and amplifier. Now, there's the boat here, which is really significant on the on the water. This is saying that there's help around. You don't have to do everything by yourself. Ask the angels first. Ask the divine and call on, you know, I often say to the angels, send me someone who can help me. Send me someone who can help me. I don't know how to do everything. These days you're supposed to do everything in a business. You're supposed to be good at all of the things, the design, the back end of the website, the videos, the editing. And I'm like, some days I can't do it all. Send me someone who can help me. So know that help is available. Don't be dysfunctionally independent. The angels are all around you. And I love how peaceful this is. There's no drama here, is there? It's freedom. And again, it's a little bit playful, isn't it? So if you join me tomorrow for the um, Angel Oracle card free class, I'll teach you a bit more about reading the angel cards. Now, this was the second card we got with the guidance card. And this is the magician. And I love how powerful this is. In comes, I feel like this is Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron charging forward. Look, he's got the abundance. He's got the sword for protection. He's got the um, cup. They're for receiving and for emotional. He's got the ones for igniting your passion. He's saying, don't you know how powerful you are? Don't you realize that you are a divine creator, that the light of the universe exists within you, that you're surrounded with angels and spiritual helpers, that really, if you focus on that, that is your strength. And all of these other things that are happening, these dramas, 
these worries, these are temporary distractions of the ego. It's time for you to take control of who you are truly at a soul level, to take back your power, stop blaming, stop resenting, stop just bless and forgive everything that's happened up until this moment and take back your power. No matter what has happened to you in the past, I'm not minimizing it, but no matter what has happened to you, you still have your power. Everything is set up to remind you of this. We take it the other way, don't we? Something bad happens and we go, oh, thanks, universe. Now I feel even worse. But actually, we feel worse because when we're being shown by somebody, we're being treated badly by someone, for instance, it's not because we're unworthy, it's because we fear we're unworthy and that person is just projecting their negativity onto you. But it feels bad because it's out of alignment to believe that you're unworthy. Make sense? So look at the power in this card, the infinite abundance, the infinity sign above. You are a magician. Remember who you truly are. That's why I love my angel communication program yesterday. I was doing a big gratitude yesterday as I was walking the beach and I was thinking of all the things I was grateful for. And I thought, what am I grateful for about my program? Because I believe in it. But what I'm really grateful for is the transformation that it brings to people because it brings them back to this. Even though they get certificate, they learn skills, but the process brings them back to remembering who they really are. And then they launch. So manifestation, empowerment, preparedness, it says on the card. All right, this is your guidance. Are you listening? The outcome card. Now look what has happened to that little boat that we saw in card number three. It has turned into a huge angel ship and it is heading for shore. Your ship is coming in. The abundance is coming. You are headed for your goals. Make three wishes today. There's three, three wands here with angel wings on them. If, if the angels are coming towards you in a ship, delivering three things that you need and want right now in your life, and forget that thing about don't tell people your wishes because they won't come true. That's just patriarchy. <laughs> it's just meant to suppress you. You have more than three wishes. Of course you do. But the angels are asking you to make three right now. And imagine that they're coming towards you on that ship. And you're standing at the shore ready to receive. I, I love this for you because the angels have really taken us on this journey right now, haven't they? Um, showing us how to do it. How to manifest your future how to create the things that you want and get rid of what you don't want. And don't forget as well, the angels are powerful healers. Like they're the most powerful healers. I've been a healer for 22 years, working with the angels, angel medium and giving readings. And it still blows my mind every time I do an energy healing with someone, the shift that they make, because angels do real quick healing. When we're ready to let something go, they take it and they don't just take the problem, they take the cause, the roots, and how that's been affecting you through the years. So that it's it's like an energetic uprooting of all of that heavy, heavy energy. And because they can transmute, they change that energy into light, it can't come back. So that's why angel healing is so powerful. So if you've been forgetting to call on your angels, now is the time to start talking to them. Um, be open to what comes because I promise you, it's like all of a sudden you become a magnet for information, opportunities, books, people, support, and your dream come true. All right. I'm so happy to have shared that with you this week. I want you to have a beautiful, beautiful week. Please come and join me at the Ask the Angels Oracle Card Masterclass, absolutely free, 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 free on Tuesday the 8th of October and Wednesday the 9th of October. I'm doing it twice live because my, my client base is huge and it goes across the United States, Canada, Europe, India, Asia, and um, the UK. So I teach my classes live um, as much as possible twice so that you can join me from wherever you are in the world. Yes, there will be a replay, but it, this time, this replay, because it's a masterclass, will only be available for a short time. It's um, part of the launch. I'm giving you a full class, full value class. I'm also launching my angel communication practitioner training, which goes live live um, in about 10 days. And um, I know many of you want to join. Many of you have already joined from the pre-sale on the wait list. 
and I'm excited to launch that tomorrow at the course. So please join me and I'm sending you so much love. Have a beautiful week. Don't forget to click follow or subscribe. It's really, really easy and free and it really helps me um, get more eyes on these beautiful messages from the angels. Loads of love. I'll see you soon. I'm Rachel Skoltoff.